The Oakleaf Pendant Kit is a really nice one for people with any level of experience, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate carver, or an experienced carver. It offers lots of opportunity to shape and create dynamic forms because you can make the lobes go in any direction you like. Um, it also offers lots of opportunity in terms of adding additional details. You can go as detailed as you like with the veins. You could leave it with no veins, you could add just the basic veins as detailed here, or you could go even further and add the smaller and smaller veins graduating to nothing all the way across. So there's lots of opportunities. It is slightly more difficult than some of the simpler leaves like the ivy leaf and certainly the willow leaf because of the lobes. So it requires a bit of practice just to be able to carve in between the lobes and get it nice and neat. But it is suitable for any level of experience. Now before you start it might be worth taking a quick photograph on your phone of the kit as it is from the pack so it's got all the markings on give you something to refer back to later on when you want to add details and then once you've done that you're ready to start start by shaving down the sides bringing the outer edges of the wood into the outmost outermost areas so these two lobes on either side once you've done that you can start using the knife from just below those points to remove the waste wood from outside of the lines and do the same here but going up from that point. Once you've done that you can then start to look to cut in between the lobes. To do that make a fairly straight cut in following that line and then take a slice up to that line to remove just a little wedge of material each time. Repeat that process until you get into all of the nooks and crannies all the way around. You can then just simply shave off the top, just taking care because that's going across what's known as the end grain, which is where the wood fibres have been cut, and the knife will have more of a tendency to skip or get stuck on either end as you go. Once you've got the two-dimensional shape cut out, you can start to consider how you want the three-dimensional form of your leaf to be. So. Quite often when I'm doing an oak leaf, I will make this central vein effectively a low point all the way along. But equally, it's quite nice, whilst making that a valley, to be able to drop the front or the, the bottom of the leaf down towards the back and the same at the top, creating a leaf shape, a bit like that. Now with the lobes, as I say, you can actually shape them either down so they come towards the back of the wood, or up, so they sit proud. The choice is entirely up to you. If you have access to an oak tree, pop out, have a look at some real life oak leaves, or autumn oak leaves, if it's that time of year, and you'll get a really nice idea as to how the lobes form naturally, and it'll give you a few cues as to how to shape it. Once you've done the shaping as you want, if you're not entirely happy with how smooth it is, you can use the sandpaper that came in your kit just to finish it off. Start with the 120, which is the coarsest grip, move to the 180 and then the 240 to achieve a really nice smooth finish. Once you've got the finish as you want it, you can then start to put in the markings. Now, for the, for the veins, the way that I tend to do it is to use the tip of the knife and score all the way along the line and then shave down either from just one side if I want to create stronger contrast of light or from both sides if I want to create a valley so for example with the central vein you may want to create a valley for it in which case you can shave from that side and then from that side to create just a dip. Now with the, the other veins, the veins that go out to these outer lobes bearing in mind that it will be worn that way so pointing down if you want to make these stand out then do a score line, but this time instead of shaving from both sides, just shave from the underneath. And by doing that you'll create a bit of contrast in shadow directly below the vein, which will just make it pop a bit more. Once you've done that you've got the choice to add more veins as you like. Again, have a look at some images online or pop out and pick up an oak leaf yourself and just see how the veins form from these larger veins. Draw them on and then use that score line technique taking away small slices to create the contrast that you want. And once you've done that, 
you're pretty much ready for it to be worn. So take the small screw in eyelet and put it in right where the central vein reaches the top of the leaf there and just screw it in. And then thread the cord through and it's ready to be worn. I hope you enjoy carving your oak leaf.